don't know if you guys can see them. There's crabs everywhere. A lot of them are dead, but those guys are definitely alive. Bunch over here. I don't know what they're doing. One up on shore. I don't know if we can use, legally get them or not. I'd love to try them for bait. Just don't know if I can. Uh, I don't think they're even in season. I don't know what they're doing here. They're all dead. I thought some were alive, but they're not. Well, that's a little sabiki rig of some sort. Shatter in here strong today. 52 degree water. Shatter stacked up in here. What's up everybody? Welcome to another episode of the Flatty Daddies. Today I'm back down here on the Potomac, testing my luck out, trying for some giants again. Uh, it's another solo trip. And with uh, the way things are right now, I kind of uh, kind of didn't want to have anybody else with me other than Chad, but Chad couldn't make it. Um, it just, you know social distancing at its best here and uh, I'm getting bites already I just got my lines out it's a good sign there's a lot of shad in the area like every rod's getting tapped right now um, but they're just they're they're little taps I got kind of chunky bait on I'm going for the bigger ones uh, starting off for the bigger ones um, that guy's getting pretty serious on there but yeah we'll see how it goes i know there's a lot of you that have been wanting to come out with me and i'm not trying to avoid you um, I, I do want to get you guys out it's just uh, right now i didn't want to bring anybody with me you know that's just seems like a good idea whoa we got a fish we got a fish Let's see if he's on yep just like that we got a fish and just like that he popped it how in the world did that happen he was on there Oh well, they're hungry right now. All right guys, look at these gorgeous bait fish. Look at this. No wonder the catfish get so big down here. Look at the fish they get to eat. Have you ever seen gizzard shad this big? I consistently catch big ones like that down here. All right, so fresh is best. This guy's still breathing a little. Uh, I used to use a lot bigger chunks, but I've been using smaller ones lately, and it's, it's paying off. They're, they get in their mouth a lot better. You don't, I'm not saying baby pieces or anything, but now I'll take this, cut it down right there. So on this fish, that's a pretty good chunk. Um, some of the smaller shad you get smaller chunks that way, but these pieces I'll keep around for a little bit. I might might throw it on a, my dinker rod just to try to get, get some bait in or some some eaters in here come on shad are incredibly tough to cut through especially when they're frozen and this uh this fin i like to cut that off that'll just get stuck in the hook point scissors would work really good for that so there's uh there's six pieces just like that I still got plenty off of one fish, plenty left. Now, a lot of people swear by the heads. Uh, I guess that's not really a good piece. I don't have a whole lot of luck. Last time I did manage to catch a pretty good sized fish on one, but uh, usually I don't have a whole lot of luck, but I'll try not to waste this. Put it out for a little bit. I'm gonna get him through there. Come on. Making me look like an amateur here. I am. They don't need to know that. All right, that'll work. Big old bloody piece. Some people like to bait everything up and then cast them all. I like to just get them out as soon as possible. It's more time that you have lines in the water. That should be about 40 feet where I cast. Maybe 37 to 40, but it uh, drops down 36, 30, and it's like 32 out that way. I 
think he might actually get it this time. All right. All right, got something on the line now, finally. And he's in my other line too, cool. Finally got one of them to hook up. It's a fish. It's a fish that's gonna be in the boat. Alright. Alright, eater number one of the day. Just the right size. Yeah, this guy hit hard. I don't think he's super big, but man, did he hit hard. That was a cool takedown. I wish I had it on film. I've just been getting hits and hits and hits, but nothing's really been serious about it. Um, I don't know what's going on, why I can't connect with them. There's also, uh, oh, oh, okay. There's a hit. Let me make sure that guy's on. Yep, he's on. Can't tell which one's bigger. This one's almost in the boat, so I'll get him. Went from real slow to a double like that. Yeah, he's chunky, chunky fish, feisty. Looking for that anchor rope. He was in it, but he got out. All right. All right, fish, come on up. Thanks for giving me a fight. Got you. I don't know. I'm not going to guess too much this trip because uh, I'm always all off anyway. Yeah. Oh, that one's still on. Alright, let's see what this guy is. Uh, this guy isn't nearly as big. They both hit really good though. I love the way blue cats hit. Man, are they, they're running when they get it. <laughs> this setup's a little overpowered for him. Oh, he was down in the mud. Let me show you this guy's belly. He was hunkered down. There's no reason for that at this point in the year. See that? Yeah, mud. Pretty good fish. Nothing great. I probably won't keep this guy. He's just above what I want to keep for eating. So. All right. And then you got this guy. So double. Oh yeah, that's another good takedown. Whew. I'm in there trying to weigh that other fish. He was clamped down on my finger, then I looked back, and this thing just folded over again. And he came off. Man. Not the luckiest day today, but I'm getting in the fish at least. It's better than not fishing. It's all slimed up. He just uh just pop pop that hook. So yeah, he is 16 pounds. If you guys can see it. 16. There we go. 16 pounder, not bad. It's a decent fish. Oh, 
there it goes. Stable. These things are buried. I don't know what's going on, but he's got mud on him too. Another, I'd say about 12, 13 pounds. He's not a bad fish. Chunky. Uh, got the mud on his stomach there. I don't know if you can see it, but this guy was. I don't know, for some reason, holding deep into that current. It's all chewed up. All right, there's a fish on there. Hasn't been the best day, but I've definitely had worse down here. Not terrible. You see that anchor rope. I love that. Oh, this one's actually a, a, an eater. Fooled me. Very slimy. Look at that thinker rod's going off. Let's see, did he get it? I think he did. Feels like a perfect sized eater too. Huh, he's actually a little small for eating. I'll probably keep him though just because I haven't got many. Woo, look at this beast. I can't stretch him far enough to make him look big. Uh, starting to bite better now that uh, the current's actually going one direction and it's going with the way the boat's situated. Things are starting to look a little better. Loading up on the little guys. That's exactly what this thing's out here for. It's a tasty looking fish. Whoa, I got a real fish on over there. Yep, he's still on. All right, this is what I'm talking about. Getting some action finally. Right, bigger than that one I just brought in at least. Still no giants today. Can't get into anything over 20 pounds yet. Hopefully uh, before I go, something big gets hungry. <laughs> just a little bit bigger than that one I got. He's a keeper too. right off the hook as soon as the tension came off. Boom, that's food. Food fish. Yep, 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 yep. Just recast this one about two minutes ago. Yeah, this place is producing, the spot is, but I may move just because there's nothing big seeming in this area. It's just everything is uh, just eater size or just over that. And I didn't come all the way down here just for those. They're fun. I mean, I have some rods out for them, but I'm here for some, uh, some big fish. This guy's not one. He's kind of ugly, actually. Wait till you see this thing. by ugly is he's got like an injury there on his fin that side's not like it I don't know what's going on it's cool but I don't know if that's a good thing or not but either way it's a little too big to keep so I'll throw him back
Hey, now there's a double. Check this guy out over here. Try to decide which one's bigger. They both feel about the same. Kind of quit over there though. He's on, but he's just not doing much. So I'll take this guy in. There he goes. Loosen that drag just a scotch in case he decides to grow on me. All right. Action. Stayed here long enough. I finally got him the bite. Still looking for bigger ones, but. These are keeping it fun. They're keeping it real fun. Emil. They're chunky. Maybe the bigger guys are up shallow feeding. But there's plenty of shad out here too, so. It's hard to say. Get that guy in. Alright, let's see how big this one is. You got a pair of twins. There's a triple. Is he on? Is he on? Yeah, he's on. He's on, guys. That one looks a little bit more serious. <laughs> Looked serious, but not feeling like it now. I don't get many fish on this reel, though. I don't know why. Just unlucky, I guess, but finally got one on it. On in. This guy's muddy too. Weird. He's really muddy. Look at that mud on there. He's a keeper though. Oh! <laughs> now. Look at this, guys. Thinker rod's going off. Man. There's a quad, quadruple. And, oh, he's snagged on the back? What? How in the world does that happen to a catfish with a circle hook? Seriously. The hell? A little bit of chaos is never a bad thing when fishing. You know that. Not big, but all came at the same time. Snap a picture and let most of them go. Well, this is the biggest down of all four of them. Nothing, nothing to be super proud of, and I've kind of messed up his eye. Hopefully, he comes back, or hopefully, he doesn't die. All right, everyone, that's the end of part one. Uh, no real monsters or anything, but it was a good trip and I, I got a lot of fish in the boat. Uh, stay tuned for part two. Should be coming out within a week or less. Uh, gonna be some good fishing there. Thanks for watching.